Welcome back. I'm Upload and this is day 46 of my VCV rack experiments. Now imagine we could have a contact microphone at atomic level, picking up the sounds of a chemical reaction. I imagine that would sound like this. And this is my patch of today. It is quite a noisy patch. And uh, when I first started doing this experiment, I wasn't sure if this was going to be it and if I would record it. There was a lot of chaos and noise, but I sort of tamed it. Well, sort of. And the result is quite pleasant, I think, as a kind of dark ambient slash industrial soundscape. But to be honest, I started this without any idea of what I was doing. I just threw some modules in the mix, connected some cables, and there was noise. And it was good. And then I started, started modulating stuff, connecting more cables, adding a few more modules. And I ended up with this patch. So what's going on here? Well, we have a clock here, uh, it's connected to quite a few things, but most importantly to this DICE module from Apelson's modules, it's the probability sequencer. I actually started with this FM op, I thought I would try that out, I haven't used it before. And uh, I thought, well, we need to sequence this, uh, because otherwise we just have the same note. I ended up not using the uh, full proactive input on this module actually and the other FM op module here gets its full proactive input from this one. But uh, the sequencer is driving some parts of the PO204 from Submarine that we recently uh, highlighted in the very cool patch contest. And uh, it is a very cool and useful module. So I have the, one of the outputs from this uh, probability sequencer going into the full proactive of this module, which then uh, is further modulated with some other outputs of this sequencer. Um, there is a lot more modul <coughs> sorry, a lot more modulation going on. Um, I just added a few other things. I said, "Wow, this looks interesting." A frequency shifter, and it has different ranges ranges here that you can choose from. There's a CV input that I use uh, another output of this sequencer for, and uh, there's an up and a down output. So I use the up here to uh, modulate the phase and it down here goes into the wave shaper and also well later there and the wave shaper gets its cv input to change the wave shaping from the output of tangents the steiner parker filter on vault which uh, is fed by the output of the fm op
Yeah, we get a lot of noise. If you're looking at the scopes, you will see that they are related to the modulation. And when, especially this one, when it goes into this corner, there's the red output here, that is this parameter on the spectro, and we get more noise. That's the most obvious one. And then when it goes down into this corner, and there is less of that wavy noise. There's something else going on here. It's more subtle. Yeah, that click clicker, that kind of noise uh, is related to this. Anyway, there's so much going on in this patch, I don't even know what is doing what exactly. Um, we have the output of the wave shaper, it goes into more phase modulation here, it also uh, goes into smoke. Uh, smoke is taking input from the filter that takes input from the first FM op. Um, so here the size parameter is modulated by our shaped wave. Um, and also the FM parameter on this FM op here, the second one. So we have the output of our first stereo channel with this wavy noise that's coming in again, uh, coming from a spectro. So we have FMO filter, smoke, a spectro, that's basically the line, and then from there it goes into our mixer. We have a second FMO that takes input, therefore productive input from the first one. And its output goes into another filter and then into Camilla. And it is the bubbly noise if we uh, solo this one. Right? This is the bubbly thing. Very uh, industrial. Lovely sounds here. And the other channel, this is the first uh, FM op module. We get this noise and you can see here when it goes up into the corner there whoa we get that uh, and that comes from the Lorenz strange attractor uh, I've kept the color coding intact as much as possible um, so this modulates this quantized partials um, parameter of a spectra that is responsible for this noise. It also modulates the resonance in the second um, voice. It modulates, well, something else. It goes here into this uh, ABC module together with some output from our frequency shifter and from the other part of our strange attractor, the Rustler attract strange attractor, and together this uh, modulates the depth. You see, this, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just threw something together that had uh, a good sounding result. I tamed some of the, uh, the stuff here. This goes to uh, the spread, but more importantly, the feedback here and if we let the feedback go all the way to like 100% green and to plus five or plus 10, whatever it is, um, that's way too much. We get too much noise, unless you like that, but I don't. So I tame that here with this attenuator. Um, what else is going on? Uh, we have some more modulation here, the feedback. 
uh, with this sample and hold. Again, this is there is no reason to it. You could just use the uh, the LFO like output or well, this is audio rate, isn't it? That would work as well. But I just use this sample and hold to get some values out of there and feed that to the feedback parameter here. Let's get the other voice back in here. So basically we have uh, two FM operators um, for two voices. So the first one has a filter smoker as Spectra, the second one has a filter and Camilla for uh, different sounding results. And below here is uh, our modulation section. that modulates these parameters here in the FM operators as well as in uh, Smoke, Spectro, Camilla, which are all incarnations of uh, clouds and different uh, firmwares in the hardware modules. And then of course the mix of these two voices also is sent to Plateau for our lush reverb. So we don't have too much of that. And why don't I hear this? Oh, because I have soloed these. Yeah, now we hear the reverb. I'm in a long decay, like we're in some huge factory or something, or if we're going with a uh, contact microphone at atomic level. Yeah, we're in a beaker. There's lots of atoms around and something's going on. Anyway, that is my patch for today. So, if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, see you again, though not tomorrow. I won't be uploading a video tomorrow. I do hope to find the time to uh, put a new poll for a new contest week three of the contest and uh, announce the next week of our very cool patch contest so so stay tuned keep calm and patch on <laughs>